Hey, Jerry. Hi. I'm 19 years old. Yeah. I have a three-year-old daughter at home. I go to school full-time to be a nurse. Wages just don't, they don't meet. I'm tired of it. I need help. I've done it on my own for the past two years. Yeah. A year ago, her father decided to come back in her life, and we got together. Um, it's just, it's not working out, and I'm here to tell him that I'm a lesbian. Did that, did that happen while you were at the hospital, or what? No. Yeah. I've actually been dating her for the past two years. Oh. Is she, is she the first woman you'd been with? Yes, she is. Okay, so in other words, when you were with him, it wasn't like you had been a lesbian and now we're trying to be with a guy? No. No, okay. So now you figure out you're happier with a woman? Yes, I am. Okay. And uh, so he has no clue about any of this? No. Now, you said he's his son or daughter, I'm sorry. Daughter. Daughter. Now he's in his daughter's life. Why was he not in her life in the beginning? I was 15 years old when I got pregnant. Yeah. Uh, we were both in school. I was scared. Yeah. I didn't want him, I didn't tell him. Oh, you mean he didn't even know he was a father? No, he knew there was a chance. It was a possibility between yeah. him and another man. Yeah. And, yeah, so... And then I he just, took the, the, the test and it's clearly him. Yes. Okay. All right, so now uh, all of a sudden, so he says, okay, I'm going to step up and try and be your dad. He's well, wait a second. It, it, it's only been the last two years. So when he came back into your life or into your child's life, that was about the time you started seeing this other woman. No. No. He has been in our life for the past year. I've been dating her for the past two years. Okay. Have you slept with him, by the way? Three days ago. Is that like a lesbian timeout? <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, do you get like a, a night off? Okay. Uh, so now he would think that you guys are still together, right? Yes. Because you've yes, kind of like together. Yeah, and you've oh, he's living with you? Yes. Oh, you, oh. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, so you really are living together. Yes. Well, why would you lead him on like that if you already knew prior to the time of him coming back that you were already with a woman? He was doing so well for our daughter. All right, well, I'll let you. Well, he's outside the studio, so he hasn't heard any of this, but you're about to tell him. Now, what are you going to tell him? You're going to tell him that... It's not working. I don't want to be with him. I'm a lesbian. I'm happy. Now, what's going to happen with your child? Um, hopefully he'll still be willing to see her pictures and stuff because we're moving to Florida. Oh. Are lesbians allowed in Florida? <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm just checking. Just checking. Uh, what the, gosh, that, so you're taking the child away from him too. Aria got a job transfer and I want to start a new life with her. She's moving to Florida well, shouldn't and... Shouldn't he have it say? If he's, I mean, he's an equal parent, no? N uh, no. He hasn't, he's been there for the past year. Yeah, because three. you didn't tell him, in fairness. That's not his yeah. fault. Yeah, I don't, I don't care. I'm happy. I'm happy the way I, with everything. All right. Well, here he is. Here's Anthony. Anthony, welcome to the show. Uh, welcome, thank you, Jerry. So you just you found out like a year ago that you or a year ago that you were the father of this child. Yes, yes, I did. Okay, and what was your reaction when you found out? Uh, my reaction, I could kind of say I was scared, but then I was more worried for the fact because I had a life running around that I had to deal with, but I didn't know about it for a year. Sure. Yeah, we understand. That. Yeah. yeah, and it was just kind of scary because. You know, I come from a family where, you know, old tradition, you have mom, dad, you know, they're there for everything. And it was just kind of like, I felt like I had failed myself even though I wasn't completely aware of the whole situation. Okay, and now, but now you're being a good dad? Yeah, yeah, she's an adorable little girl and I love her to death. Great. So you don't know why you're here? No, I have no idea. Oh, okay, well, seems like a nice guy, talk to him. 
I'm here to tell you that I know we've been trying to work on things. And I know you're very happy and you do want to be with me. But I'm not happy by any means and I'm a lesbian. And I'm moving, I already got a job transfer. That's my girlfriend. I've decided to be with her and we're moving to Florida and I'm taking Jada with me. No. <laughs> That's, that's, that's not happening. I'm going. All. No, you you're can't, not. How? Well, okay. he can. I mean, he, he does have equal say in, as far as the law is concerned. So, you, I mean, he does. He's still the parent. You it know? Ain't, it's not even about the law. It shouldn't even be that hard to see your kid. Like, straight up. I'll send you pictures. Pictures ain't the same thing as her walking. No. Nah. Okay, it's, okay I'm nah. happy. I'm happy. You should want me to be happy. That's happy. You can like girls who got the I same did it for private two years part on as you. You feel me? That's all. Whatever floats your boat. But I'm not talking right now because I got lips. This is my little girl. I didn't know about it for a year. You feel me? I got robbed of her birthday, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, even something as trifling as her passing gas for the first time, changing her diaper. I wasn't there. Everything I've done, you don't want me to be happy? You can be happy. I just said you're not listening right now. She's God gave moving. you two ears and one mouth. That means you should listen twice as much as you should be speaking right now. Yeah. Yeah. It ain't registering right now. You know, if I would have known I'd have had a kid when I graduated high school, I would not have left to go to college two hours away. I would have stayed in town to help you raise that. But you know what? I wasn't there for your morning sickness. Even if you didn't have any, God's one to you. You know what? Good stuff. But, you know, I could have been there for the ultrasound, the diapers, all that, but I wasn't. You didn't let me know until I was a sophomore in college. I'm doing homework, and I get a call like, oh, hey, did you ever think such and such looks like you? Well, duh. <laughs> okay, and now we live together, and you're a wonderful dad. I'm just not happy. Then you can I'm move. Not happy. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> you can move. So you're gonna take her away from the mother she's known for her whole life. Oh, so you're trying to take her away from her daddy? You know, there's a mama's boy and a daddy's girl, not a mama's girl and a mama's girl. You <laughs> Well, you get the idea. <laughs> so let me get the big picture. You saying that you think you are taking our daughter. You know, without me, she wouldn't even be here. You think you and Arya could <laughs> up y'all mouses together and just all of a sudden have a kid? <laughs> Is that how you think you it said works? Mouses? Yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's, mouse. it's mice. Mice. Okay. Uh, here's Aria. Yeah! You know, what's, let me ask you this question, Brittany. <laughs> How are you not going to involve me in the first year? But then bring her into my life. It's okay. And then hit the bricks. She was there the whole time. I don't need you. I don't want you. That's perfect. It's over. But ask, ask our little girl that. You she know, I spent the last you. year talking to a confused child. She had no idea who her daddy was. I, it took me 365 days. Is that how many days are in a year, Jerry? Yeah. <laughs> 365 days to have a little girl Which, be which like, year was it? You know what? It was, she was born in 2006. It's a 365. 365. <laughs> to get a little girl to look at me and just say, that's my daddy. She knows mommy. Okay, Ar Aria. Yes. I understand you love her. I'm assuming you do. Yes. I, I totally understand what your feelings are. But being a little bit objective, that she wants to run, a, go away with you and start a new life, totally understandable. But if you were sitting out here in the audience watching this, you wouldn't think that it's fair, I know it's not legal, but even that it's even not fair that she 
one party suddenly takes the child and says, I'm leaving, the hell with you, I'm taking the child. That has to be determined. He is the father. She should honestly have her name on that birth certificate. This is her, that's her baby. Hold on. Oh. If you drop your draws, you, you have If it was only that, there wouldn't be a baby. <laughs> if you think that was wild and crazy, then click here to keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe. All you have to do is click here. And one more thing, take care of yourself and each other.